Hi everyone, today is going to be a very fun video. Today's video, I'm doing a complete breakdown of my entire Frisali collection. I'm gonna give you guys my opinions and tell you, tell you which ones I would and would not be repurchasing. So if you guys are interested in that, then uh, just keep watching, but please don't forget to like and subscribe. So um, let's jump right in. So I wrote all of my thoughts down on these products in this notebook. So let's get started. Let's start with the first product I ever bought and that was the Frisali Rose Gold 24 Karat Elixir and this was the mini size. I bought this after seeing it on Instagram. I think that's how we all found out about Frisali products. You know with the, they had the unicorn essence one. I never bought that one but uh, this one just looks so cool to me. I bought it. It smells like um, like very orangey citrus scent. It's really nice to put on your skin. It really kind of wakes you up. Um, now my notes on this is that it's very moisturizing and it's great for dry skin. I have very dry skin and this just makes my skin very soft and like, um, you know, gets rid of those little dry patches that form on your skin. Uh, it made my face look radiant. You guys, you will look so dewy for like an hour. And that is also why I have a note that says I prefer to use this at night. If, now, I did wear this during the day and I don't mind having a glowy face, but if you are someone who's not really into the whole full-on dewy skin, you might want to just put this on at night and let it absorb uh, you know, through the night and then you have really soft skin in the morning. Uh, is great to mix with foundation. So if you have a very like matte foundation or anything that kind of looks a little cakey, you can just drop a few drops of this in it. It'll give it a nice like glowy sheen. And I have sensitive skin, and this didn't break me out. That was my number one concern about their serum since I just, I don't know. The thought of, I know it's like, so like cliche to say this, but like putting oil on my skin is just going to clog my pores and give me breakouts. But that's genuinely what I thought. And I was like, oh, let's just see how this goes. But I really, really enjoyed using this product. The issue I have with this is it tends to dry up faster than I would assume now. I don't know what the shelf life of this is, but probably within like eight months, mine kind of like dried up. Um, it more or less just got really gelatinous, if that, can you see that? Um, is that their fault? I don't know. I don't know what the shelf life of this is supposed to be, but just something to take note of. And I kind of wonder if it's the packaging, because like, you know how you open and close this, air is constantly getting in versus like a pump. Um, just a thought. So, not sure, but yeah, it did dry up a little quicker than I was expecting. This product that we are going to be talking about is one that I have a full review on already. So if you guys want to know like all the details on it, uh, then you can click up here. I'm going to leave a card and you can find out all the information there. Now, this product is the Frisali Skin Tune Blur Perfecting Primer Serum. And what I have to say is I love this product primer it makes your face look amazing and flawless and it kind of leaves like this velvety texture which um it's just like such a nice base to put your foundation on top of and it made made my makeup last all day I almost feel like that velvety texture kind of stops some of um like oil seeping through my skin and like ruining my makeup look now the only issue I have which is similar to the last one is this packaging it is gorgeous. I mean, I even mentioned that video. It's kind of the reason I bought it because I just thought the packaging was so pretty. But the primer serum seems to be a little thicker than the normal serum. So when I go to like squeeze it and press it out into my hand, it just doesn't, it just doesn't work very well. <laughs> it's very annoying and can get messy. So I love how this works. I just wish they could make this with a pump, like maybe keep this beautiful blue and you know, the gold, make that part of like a pump. I don't know, just my opinion. But yes, so for Sully, please change up your packaging because I love this product. I just cannot stand the way you have to use it. And if you watched my last video, you know that I mentioned that um, I have a, I'm a packaging hoarder. If it's expensive or if it's pretty, I save the packaging, which um, I need to stop doing. So maybe after this video, I will throw them all away. Who knows? But. This is the Rose Gold Skin Mist by Frisali. And as you can see, I've used this quite a bit. Just as I've gotten new products, you know, things get pushed on the back burner. But I used this today and I remembered why I really like this. Now, when I use this, I will not just use this as like a moisturizer itself, uh, kind of like I would with the elixir. I use my uh, moisturizer and then I spray this on top of my face before applying my foundation. And it just makes your skin look so radiant. It... I really like this as a primer too because it leaves like 
a little bit of tackiness in order for your foundation to grip and like really stay all day. And if, um, you know, you have like a foundation that kicks up easily, I feel like this adds like a nice, like little glow underneath and just kind of helps it stay very nice all day long. I don't like using this as a setting spray personally because it feels like just like oil settled on top of my foundation, but it does work in the sense that it makes, you know, we use setting sprays because your face can look like kind of dry after all your powders. This really does do the job of like a regular setting spray. I just don't like the feeling of it on my face because it just feels a little bit oily. But yeah, so I'm a big fan. And you know, the mist, the spray, it's like bigger droplets than a normal um, setting spray. Like if you use, I'd make this like similar to Max Fix Plus, how it's like just bigger droplets are on your face, but I'm a big fan, big fan of this product. So our next product is the Hydration Bay, and this is the product by their Pride line. Now I am a super fan of this product. I love this. If you have dry skin, I would say this is in like your top five must have products. It is just amazing. And I love using this before I apply makeup and at night. Before I apply my makeup, this, you know, it makes my skin soft, but it also like kind of like the others adds that little tacky layer to make your makeup stay. And it makes sure that your makeup does not have any dry patches to cling to. Um, the uh, like the so there's like a base in this, and then there's little beads. The base is super moisturizing, but then when you rub the beads in, like I don't know, like I'm saying, my dry skin people, you need this product. But I'm just a big fan of this product. So if you guys want to know more about this and also want a breakdown of the ingredients, um, go let it's click on this card. I really go over the ingredients um, in this product the one I'm about, and the one I'm about to review because I think it's important when you're buying a skincare product that you know what is in it and like why you're paying the amount that you are. So yeah, let's move on to the next one. Now this, the Frisali Haldi Eyes is one I actually just reviewed and this one is supposed to be like a brightening, under eye brightener, has turmeric in it. Um, you know, it has really cool ingredients. I really liked um, reviewing this product. Like I said, click right up here if you want to know more about the products. I go really into depth in depth on them. And in the description, I believe I left, um, it's either in the description or in the comment section, I left, you know, explaining what every single product in this um, does and why you want it in your skincare. So this is supposed to be very brightening under your eyes and add moisture. I think this is great for moisturizing under your eyes. I would actually, whenever I use this, I just kind of end up putting it all over my entire face. Um, it's such a great product that I really just wish they sold it as um, like uh, some kind of like face mask or you know, they can even say like it's like a brightening primer or something. Like I, I really like this product. Um, however, it is, this packaging is super annoying because it has the regular lid and then you have this lid which you have to pick up and then all the product kind of sticks to the back of it and it's in the jar. It's just super, super messy. So I wish they could think of like a different way to package this even though it's beautiful. Um, it's just almost so annoying that I never use it because I just don't want to deal with it. And that's not what you want from a product. Like a lot of the Frisali products, if you even notice with the Skin Tune and Blur one, like the packaging's what's getting me, not the product. Like they put out a great product, the packaging I just, I cannot deal with. Um, and it's not very brightening. Like if you're looking for a brightening cream, this is past, do something else. If you're looking for, if you get, like for me, I get dry right under here. This cures that problem. Like, you know when sometimes you're putting a thick layer of foundation on, so it's getting in like your creases and you know, it starts looking a little dry right there. This is absolutely perfect for that and I recommend it. And the last product is the Frisali Jelly Bean Highlighter. Now, this highlighter, is gorgeous in the exact same packaging as the Haldi Eyes one, and I have the same exact issue where it's just messy and kind of gets all over. You kind of see the highlighter in the bottom. Um, I can't even open this right now because it just spills every single time I open it, unless it's on a stable like like a counter and I can open it like that. But uh, I think this is very pretty, and when it's on your body, like I have it on me today, I don't know if it's gonna show up really well on camera, but it's a very subtle, like almost like wet looking highlighter. Um, I love it for the summer. I love just putting this one all over my body. It's almost even better, in my opinion, than like a body oil. Like I like that it's very controlled in here, kind of controlled because of the spills, so I guess it's not very controlled, but um, I love the color. I love everything about it. Once again, I don't know if we can repackage this in any sort of way to make it less. I wish this was a cream instead of um, 
the jelly texture that it is because I think it's the jelly texture that makes it messy. Now let's just jump on into my final thoughts. I'm going to tell you guys which products I would repurchase, which ones are my favorite, and yeah. So let's get into it. Now my favorite product out of all of them, I think you guys can guess from the way I was talking about it, is the Hydration Bay. I like we'll keep repurchasing this. I hope it's never on a limited edition. I love this. So um, as soon as this runs out, which is unfortunately probably going to be soon, I will be spending my money on it. But um, yes, so I definitely think this one is worth the price. Now, the I have two products that, or three products that I just can't repurchase because they're messy and annoying. And I think you know that, which is the Skin Tune Blur. This is so pricey and I feel like I think I have the same, like, I think this one does the same thing as the Rose Gold Elixir. I feel like every time you open and close this, like, they're kind of, I don't know if the air or something is making it more, like, gelatinous. And, like, I just don't feel like I get to use all the product. And it's super, super expensive. So, um, for Solly, if you would just change up the packaging, I will repurchase this in a heartbeat. Um, and the other ones are the Haldi Eyes and the Jelly Bean. Just because the packaging is so annoying. I don't, I don't reach for them because I don't want to deal with the mess. So, so I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I tried to make it just kind of quick and to the point. So if you want a very in-depth review on any of these products, I'm going to leave, um, I, you know, I left the cards up while I was talking about them, but I'll also leave um, their links in the description. So um, yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this and um, don't forget to like and subscribe and don't forget to follow my Instagram. I'm going to leave it right here and I'll see you in my next video. Bye!